There is a great technique for leaders and managers to use to have employees become more self-confident and motivated. I'll explain that in this video. Hello, I'm Steven Goldberg of Optimus Performance, bringing you practical tips and ideas on leadership, team development, and employee performance in the workplace. Increased self-confidence, self-esteem, and motivation will drive greater performance from employees. And one great way to do it is to point out or recognize when an employee is using a trait or a strength that drives a behavior that produces a result. Let me give you an example. Let's say Susan is in customer service, and one day you see her dealing with an array customer that perhaps threatens to leave the company, and she saves the day. And she does this by using empathy and calming the client down and turning that into a positive situation. Now, Susan's strength is her ability to be empathetic with people, with, with customers, but it's driven by her ability or her strength in caring and nurturing people. And this is something that is natural to her. And so you want to recognize this by saying something like, Susan, you really saved the day. That's great. We could have lost that client. And it just points out how strong you are in your care for people and how that makes you really empathetic with people. And, and that's great. Continue that. That's wonderful. Something like that. You put it into your own words, of course. But what you're doing is you're really pointing out a personal strength of the person and how that strength is utilized in her daily interactions, in this case with customers, and of course, produce a great result. So it's really linking the personal strength to a behavior and to a result. So what that does, it reinforces the awareness of that in the person. And also coming from somebody else, especially their boss or a manager, really touches them and shows them that you appreciate what they're doing and that they bring value to the organization. So they'll continue to use that strength, to use that skill with more confidence. And that's what you want from people. And that will continue to get better results from uh, whatever it is that they're doing in their role. Now, this could apply to any position. I use customer service as an example because it's something very observable, but every position, people bring those strengths and you want to look for opportunities to point that out to people. Now, this is gonna make you a leader, not just a manager, but it's gonna boost your leadership skills and have you be appreciated by your staff, by your employees, it's gonna create that bond and they're gonna to wanna to work harder for you and appreciate that you recognize them. So to apply the skill, it takes some conscious effort. It means understanding, knowing people, what are their strengths, reflecting on that, and then looking for opportunities to give them that feedback, to point it out to them. I hope this tip makes sense. It's a very powerful tool. Use it. You'll see how it'll boost your leadership and your relationship with your employees. Check out some related videos. There's one recommended for you right now. Turn on notifications or subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, check out the blog articles on our website that go along with these videos. Thank you for listening and we'll talk again soon.